Hey guys, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, this is Casey here again with another tip. Um, this one's gonna be an interesting one, not one of my usual tips. And uh, I'll explain why. Uh, it's really cold here where, I'm, where I live right now. It's winter time and there's snow in the ground. It's actually below freezing in temperatures. And I'm going on a long drive right now where it's actually down almost into the single digits. Um, and I'll be at down to the single digits for the next couple of hours at least and some snow as well. And I'm a little worried about actually my windshield wipers uh, freezing up on the windshield. And of course, I um, typically you just buy, you know, typical windshield washer cleaner and you put it into your windshield washer fluid reservoir, um, which I have here in my sprinter van. Um, however, I've been going with these little packets um, and uh, uh, those little packets um, are, are basically the, instead of buying a big uh, gallon of basically water with a little bit of a few additives mixed in. I just buy the little packet with the additives, toss it right into my uh, windshield washer reservoir, uh, fluid reservoir, add some water, and I'm good. Now, what that those little packets do have are detergents, essentially some cleaning solution, um, but it doesn't have any kind of an antifreeze in there, which in a lot of respects is good. The antifreeze isn't really needed most of the year and probably does cause some kind of a corrosion on the, the paint or other issues. Um, so what I typically do is just adding some rubbing alcohol, but I'm almost out of rubbing alcohol and I'm saving it for those things where I really could use rubbing alcohol for. Um, and instead I thought, you know what, what else will work? Any kind of alcohol. And guess what? I don't really drink a lot. Um, I don't really drink cocktails. I don't. And, and so I drink, you know, so anyways, I don't really drink a lot of alcohol, but yet I always have this alcohol around the house for when uh, I have host parties and people are over if they want a cocktail or not. But the reality is it just ends up sitting in my cabinet for years. Uh, and I buy these big bottles, you know, at Costco or something, and they sit in there for five to 10 years before they get used up. It seems really silly um, to just have them sitting around. And why buy alcohol if I don't really drink it? You know, I, uh, wine is what I typically drink when I host parties and most other people and my friends do as well. That's what they like to drink. So. Um, I'm going to use up some of my old alcohol. So some of this may be sacrilege, but I've got some absolute vodka here. If you're absolute vodka fans or any other vodka fan, don't don't get angry at me because I don't have any other use for this and I don't really have anybody to give it to. So I'm going to just pour some of this into my windshield washer reservoir if I can actually get it in there that's spilling it around. Um, and, and that's it. And hence why I'm not using rum because otherwise I'd leave quite the nasty scent. Um, as it already is quite a nasty scent with just this vodka. But now that that's done, is in my fluid reservoir, which is nearly full and already has those detergents in there. I've added a little bit of alcohol that'll keep it from, it'll lower the freezing point. That'll help to keep it from freezing uh, and uh, over whether it's overnight or while driving and also help it keep freezing in the windshield. So that's my quick tip of the day. Something you can do with your old alcohol. Still, you can use it in your vehicle to a good purpose. Thanks, have a good day.